Roster review with Valley Flying, and we're gonna do a bunch of complaining today. Plus, I made some poor choices on some of my T4s, and you have some suggestions. We've already got it. First things first, total collection power of almost five and a half million. And, oh my goodness. Uh, this is the offensive team I'm using in the arena, and I just gotta complain a little bit about gold, gold, gold. Um, there's a, <laughs> what do you, how do, what do you, what are your thoughts about gold? Do you have enough gold? I never have enough gold. Even when I get those three million or the one millions in those orbs, I, they're gone right away. Right. So yeah, gold gold's been an issue of lacking yeah. issue for a long time. And you know, so I don't know that I suggest yeah. anybody going above seventy one uh, unless you need the focus and the resistance. And one of the characters that needs all the focus and resistance, all the focus she can get is Hella, so she can spread all those negative effects with her ultimate ability. It's like going from seventy one. To like 75, you can't see it on the screen, but it's 1.5 million gold. That's absurd. Woo! And Woo! Um, I, I would highly suggest out checking out Wolver's Thor's video up here in the top right hand corner. Basically, he says, I don't know the exact math, but maybe you get like 25, 30 million gold a month, but that's not even enough uh -huh. gold to keep up with three new characters. That's absurd, right? Mm. That is crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. So we're all yeah. just falling behind, and, and that's the way it is. And uh, that's what they want. Yeah. That's what they want. That, that's that's what they want, guys. So want currently, the only character that I'm working on is Hella. I've recently decided that she is a well, she's always hmm. been a top tier character, but uh, um, I my plan for T4s, and this is a T4 review, is I, I've only been using T4s on teams that were useful in the arena and in U7, and I kind of feel okay. like I've I've finished off U7. Like, we both kind of, we're on the same lane, right? In the same guild. Yeah, we always, I mean, we like, go back and forth, but it's on that same section there. The, even in Alliance Wars, we're in the same node. They've got a side by side the whole time. Uh, but yeah, we're hitting. We hit like seventy percent today. We have lots of time, so uh, we're definitely. I think we've got U seven down. Does you feel that way too? Like you, you've got U seven down. Yeah, I've started autoing it more, which gives me more time to play it. So yeah, it's it's. I feel it's at a good level for that sixty percent. Not not close to the hundred yet. No, no, we're enough we're, for the enough to reliably do that sixty. I think we've got it down. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're down to. But like like today, we we got three hours, three and a half hours, and we're at seventy three percent. But these nodes yeah. past the third boss node uh, just becomes insanely Ooh. difficult. So what I'm trying to say is that all of my focus on T fours has been solely been put into U uh, seven, and I have. Have not really cared about like whether this is a strong uh t4 on a team that would be useful in blitz or in war because i've only been focused on u7 and now in on arena. individual characters for those two modes yeah that's just that, it okay. i it just like nothing else so um all right let's see your new ones let's see your okay, new ones so what, the character that i'm so working far? on right now is hella and the All reason right. for Hela is that uh she's useful inside of the arena there's a pretty crazy combo with hella and vision where you Ooh, can that's spread a nasty one. yeah you can spread ability block i've also seen people use ghost rider in hella that's pretty ugly uh just bleeds everywhere but mm. pretty much uh with black bolt you're gonna have disrupted out there you're gonna have uh ability block and you're gonna be able to split you know spread ability block and i did use this death knives uh, which uh, spreads four targets instead of two and i'm finding that to be useful uh because loki uh, target someone and oftentimes there'll be like three negative effects and you're not splitting yeah. the defense down And so with this it'll spread four because sometimes the with Loki He puts the defense down But then somebody on the other team has offense down or bleed and then you're not spreading the defense down So this has helped out quite a bit you have, have you used that's this a good one? one? That's a good one that's a, that's that's one that I've done. Uh, the fifty percent damage, not forgetting that as well. That's kind of standard yeah, for AOE whatever, attack. Yeah. So she's getting the basic damage, but the, I think the more important thing is the thing that you mentioned about the spreading the effects. Yeah, and uh, this is a good one as yep, well. This is a good one as well. This will probably, and, and you you suggested one on Shuri, but this will probably be my next. Uh, T4 because I know it's going to make a big difference in war and my Asgardians Asgardians are becoming a problem, right? I mean unless you've got like a pretty good fantastic four or you're gonna use your X-Man uh, You're gonna have to take two teams in it's kind of a problem, right? Yeah, I mean you could you could you could second shot it with that fantastic four power armors worked for that second shot once Well, the second Ella shot is way is... easier, but I'm talking about a first shot. Yeah, the first like a first one shot I can one shot I can punch down one one attack with fantastic four But I have to punch down like 30,000 
it's kind of a problem. You can punch down a little bit with aim as well. Yeah. Aim punches down against them. Yeah. So, uh, but I've been I've been experimenting with that Ultimus team with Casino. Yeah, the, so, the Ultimus uh, team is interesting, and your uh, link to that video up here, which is an excellent video. It's just the problems it breaks up Minerva it takes a lot, of, and you probably have to use Captain Marvel, and that's it's like you're you're basically stripping maybe two amazing teams to make I, one. I good like team. the I like the cyborg version better than the Captain Marvel okay, fine. version, just because you're not spitting up too many teams. Okay, yeah, but you know, I, so. I, I I know you. You can go Guardians instead of, uh, uh, you know, going BKT. BKT doesn't hold up yeah. really that well anyways. Uh, so, um, you know, there, so Hela is definitely on there. Now, let's keep going down. We we're just going to cycle through, like, the usual That's a good T4. suspects. That's a good T4. Okay, Thumbs Invisible Woman. I did all of them. Hmm, interesting. Okay, now her basic attack is not amazing. That's but, that's the one I would question, but everything okay. else I would say awesome. And awesome. Uh, the reason for this is that I was using her in the arena and in U7 quite a okay. bit. And uh, this did help her sustain quite a bit because it did give more damage. And she got more health back as barrier, an extra 5%. So she was getting 10% total instead of 5%. So she was having a lot of sustain. Um, and I, there was a lot of nodes where I would get down to the last second and I would miss it by one hit. And, mm. and this thing, like this basic makes a difference. Uh, you know, for getting like if you're like at 99% and one shotting something, it seemed to yeah. make a difference. So um, I don't know if that's a priority. The rest of the other three are pretty good, though. The other three are. I like the other three. I like the other three. I do question that. But if it does convert you from going 99% on a node to 100% in it, I think uh, that extra damage right. just, you know, over time, it's going to accumulate and be worth it. It's, so I think it's probably for that wasted, alone, it might be but, worth it. But um, I'm going to do it. It's fine. You know what I mean? It's just like, uh, hopefully... I mean, that's your primary focus. Ultima 7, clearing those nodes. And if that's your primary focus, I don't see how you could go wrong in focusing on a character that you're using well, getting, getting every single 60 day in that mode. Well, getting 60% without cores was like a focus for like the last months. You know what I mean? It was just like, yeah. I, I mean, there were days that where I would do like without using cores do like 40 million which is a lot you know what i mean in one day without shooting cores yeah. i mean if i if i hit the nodes right you know there's a way of doing that but uh now that it's done i figured she's a legendary character why not right let's go to the next one shuri now it's it's interesting you were saying to do this middle one right here which is the only one i haven't done and i'm just gonna say this first one i did that and casino told me that was a misclick and then the more I thought about it, it is a misclick. I wish I hadn't have done that. She doesn't do enough damage <laughs> to make sense. Uh, let's go to the next one. Phoenix, do all of them. <laughs> right? Do all of them. You're the basic. Even the, the basic. I love it. You don't have to. Okay. Right. You don't have to do the basic on this one, but you could do all of them. I, I just, like I use her every day in the arena, and I have a couple of uh, times in the, in the arena she does a basic attack, especially if she's a uh, ability blocked. So, the other three, I believe, are, are, are essential, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I would agree with that as well. So I, I would do all of them except the basic on this floor. I'm, I'm surprised you haven't used the basic on Captain Marvel here just to round I her out. I actually just don't use her that often. <laughs> I don't use her anywhere. Okay. I don't use her uh, in even, Arena. Even as a backup in Ultima 7, I know you were doing that last Sometimes. month. Sometimes. Have, have you stopped you, using her? She is... Um, I, I've, you know, it's funny. It's like you got the core three, right? Which is we scientist supreme, Minerva, and Ultron, right? And then typically, uh, and then the other basic ones would be uh, the the first backups for the other two slots would be like Falcon, Shuri, Invisible Woman, Vision, right? And then Captain Marvel and Phoenix kind of are in there too somewhere. So there's like six people for the last two slots, if that makes sense. Core Invisible three is going to be Ultron, Minerva, and uh, Scientist Supreme. So Ooh, I have a different core three. Maybe I should use your core three. What, what, what core three do you use? Uh, Ultron, uh, Scientist Supreme, and Shuri. Okay. Yeah. yeah so um, similar, similar. I, I'm not using Minerva as much as I used to. Well, I don't see Minerva as a healing engine, but as a damage output. I mean, uh, that mm. throwing that uh, Hell Steel out every once in a while is, is a lot of damage. So, and it's AOE. Yeah. So it's, that's kind of what I think about her. And plus she's giving uh, positive effects quite a bit, but maybe Shuri's better. I don't know. I, I don't think you can go wrong with Shuri or Minerva. So it's-, it's No, they're, they're, both, they're both core characters. Yeah. I, I think you need like the core, maybe eight to 10 characters and building all those up for Ultima 7. I don't think, it, I don't think it's just five characters yeah. for that. There's really nothing wrong with doing the rate. basic on this. I mean, she definitely merits it. You know, the, the strength level of the character. I just don't use her enough. So, uh, Falcon, 
Um, All I'm, right, increasing that. Interesting. Yeah, I have uh, any more damage. The damage. Um, I, again, I was struggling to get damage output. Uh, I think some people do this this middle one right here with the extra, you know, five percent. So right there, it says change speed bar to thirty yeah. percent. Um, I don't know if I need any of the T fours on this guy. Yeah, I mean, definitely if you're looking for damage, though, that strafing run is the way to go because that's that's his big uh, AOE move. Mm -hmm. It's going to help him. And if you're if you're just missing those uh, one-shotting those nodes by a little bit, this will help. Yeah, and he you know, it helps him more offense, damage. more piercing. So, you know, it, it was yeah. it's useful. I mean, it's not a wasted T4, but I, I just don't think I needed any T4s on him. Like, I would, I would rather have a, a different one today than that one right there. I mean, but it's... I would probably want different ones as well, but you're right. It's not the worst no, one it's that not, you No, it's not that on basic Falcon. on Shuri, which I don't like. Anyways... <laughs> Uh, Juggernaut, I'm not currently oh, upgrading or you've using had, that You've much. had these for a while. You've had these for a yeah, while. Yeah, so right. I'm not really doing anything with Juggernaut. Um, okay. Those two are fine. Uh, I have no interest in upgrading a Juggernaut anymore. Uh, Vision. Okay, I'm using Vision way more mm. than I ever thought I would. Um, oh, what, where, where did Vision come back? In Ultima 7? I was using Arena? him as in my, my Ultron team before Black Bolt, and I'm still using him today. I just get so much use out of Vision, and um, this is one of the first uh, uh, T4s I ever did on the basic, and it now works correctly, where you can put bleed oh, down nice. on tech, which is actually very yeah. useful in certain nodes in, in U7 also. Uh, those mm -hmm. those nodes that have War Machine and Iron Man, uh, you can actually... And those Ultron bots. Yeah, and Ultron yes. bots. You All can actually enemies. ability block War Machine, and it hits Iron Man as well. And then this right here just ends up being useful. Those bleeds actually do quite a bit of damage. So yeah. um, it's not a priority. This is one that I regretted. Now I don't. I don't regret it now. It's just like, okay, cool. Yes. Yeah, I mean, your usage, usage should be a high priority for uh, picking your type T4. So if you're using them a lot, then you can't go wrong with that. All right, Scientist Supreme. This, this is one you had last time. Yeah. This is one you had last uh, time. This is the only one that I've done. Flipping four negative effects was really useful because often at a time it would only flip three. And the one that it would leave behind was heal block. And that was super annoying. Then, mm. you, then you're not able to heal. And so uh, this one I found to be vital. Have you done any of their T4s on Scientist Supreme? I have not done Scientist Supreme T4s because I was uh, that we, we talked. And after that, I was playing with her and it, I wasn't needing the extra okay. the third one. You weren't getting I was, stuck I was only with like, to flip two, where, where so she would like, flip three and then the last one that she left behind was heel block. They happened to be well, all Once the time. in a while, there's one left over, but most of the time she's flipping whatever's there. So I didn't feel it was necessary okay. right now, but definitely a good one, especially if you're running to that problem. All right. Uh, Nick Fury yeah. still regrets this one right Old here. School. If I could refund Rally, I would do that today the other two are fine um <laughs> right uh rocket uh both of these are good yeah, both of these are good tons of views yeah. out of rocket you probably could make a case for this last one as well uh but i don't know the chance you know 40 percent chance i don't Still know 40 percent that chance yeah. yeah i don't know if it was like guaranteed or whatever like that this one's necessary for a brotherhood team both of those yeah i'm not using this as often but i've gotten a lot of use out of him uh the thing is, is that what I'm finding to be important okay, this is, is if, this is if I this if I if I'm t fouring my my arena teams, uh, I get a lot of use for them of the, the, those characters for a long time. Does that yeah. make sense? Like like so, Black Bolt, Makes right? I've, you can see what I've done. I'm going crazy, right? I've done three out of the four. I see what you've done. I like it. I, like I think it. I wish Black I had that Bolt much is going to be solid to for a long, 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 long time. Long time. Uh, his so, passive, his passive is so nice. To yeah, have. Passive, like passive is absolute must, and then the middle two are nice. Uh, just damage, and uh, but yeah. the, the absolutely have to do the passive. It's almost like automatic. If you're going to use Black Bolt anywhere, yeah. do his passive. And then the other two, it's uh, I'm using him in the arena, so I figure that I'm using him in the arena today. More damage, and, makes sense. And I, you know, so he, I'm going to be using him probably daily for at least six, at least six months, I believe. So like, like, like I used Pyro every day. I used Magneto every day. I used Juggernaut every day, like a year ago, right? And yeah. and I got like six months use out of him. And the and the 
the T fours are not like a priority today, but I got my value out of it. Like I'm going to get the yeah, value out a, of these. these those are old T fours that you did a while ago. Use those skills a lot. Yeah. I think you have gotten your value. All right, out so of it. this one, I think you will as well, just for that extra damage that he's doing on those skills. Oh yeah. I mean, just being we'll able to take a it. character out, this staggering vo voice does monster damage, man. And you can Jeez. unavoidable. Jeez. Oh, I mean, I, I've won, you know, as long as they don't have like defense, if they have defense down or if they don't have defense down, usually you're one shotting somebody. It's, it's, it's pretty brutal. Uh, yeah. and then, and then if he knocks you below 20, up to that 25 part, then he pings them. So it's like a one shot. It's, it's, it's quite, yeah. it's, it's quite, it's quite juicy. And then this right here, it deletes Ultron oh, bots no matter what. And it clears the that field. Is huge. It's just, it's just like, oh my god, this is like, I can't wait for this to go off because as soon as it goes off, it pretty much the round is over, the match is uh, over. So let me just say this about this ability right there, that sonic scream. Most AOEs add about fifty percent damage. Okay. To, with their T4, this is hundred twenty percent extra damage. That is a very strong T4 to do. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because most are fifty percent and maybe some weird skill. Hundred to twenty percent to every ally, to every enemy. That is big. Now this this might get done. Also, I, I mean, I, I end up using this a lot. I, you know, flip two, clear two positive effects. Fine. I mean, I might end up doing all yeah. four. The damage is okay, but yeah, the, the clearing positive two effects instead of just one, I guess is very, depending on what you're seeing. So could be could be very valuable yep, yep, depending on your yep, opponents yep. and what you're seeing all the time. Okay, next Magneto, um, not really using him anymore. Actually, I have been using him these by were, himself. These were essential back in the day though. Yeah, well, these were essential. He's, these, these aren't new he's ones. He's still arena viable. If you run him without Juggernaut, he actually goes after Phoenix. But if you run him with Juggernaut, he goes before Phoenix. And going before Phoenix is bad because she sucks up the blind. Where if you yeah. if you have him by himself and you're not running him uh, with Juggernaut, then he goes after the opposing Phoenix and then you can hit blind on the whole team. So I still mm -hmm. use him sometimes. Um, okay. if the, the Invisible Woman kind of clears the, that too, but the AI doesn't play it correctly. So that's another story. But... A lot of value, a lot of used those for a long time. Ultron, all four. All seven, yeah, all of them. All, all of them. four. And I just want to say, like, is it, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get to like Minerva. Minerva, you don't have to do any. I still have not done any. Yeah. Have you done any on Minerva? Zero on Minerva. Yeah. I've done this exact same passive on Thanos. This was like required back in the day. Yeah. And when Thanos was and BKT was the main team. You have no interest raids. in redoing this one here. Got a lot of value from over time on that. In easy raids, this is actually a pretty good a T4 because he's feeding energy to the rocket constantly. Oh, it, was, it was almost essential yeah. back in for U6. Six this is like thing. a U6 essential. The ones on rocket and yeah. uh, Thanos just make basically rocket go off almost every turn. Just AOE, 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 AOE over and over again. Yeah. It was quite amazing. I love that. I love that. It's just a never ending cycle because yeah. the rocket keeps killing people and then he gets the energy and it's just. Yeah, yeah I lovely. wish that this, you know, I know this has the drain and doing more damage, but I've, I've ran uh, a Thanos in one of the Greek raids recently, the one that's currently running and he just dies off. You know, I don't know. He's just not yeah, as amazing he's, as he used to be. Um, I don't know. He's just kind of falling I, off. I mean, he's about the same. It's just all the other characters got so much better and the raids got well, harder. Well, they ever bring out the Black just Order, right? Pass him by. Yeah, there's, there's some rumors of that in that art book. Yeah, the they art said, book so. shows uh, the, all the artwork for him, and he used to have the black, uh, the the Black Order tag, and they uh, they just yep. they said they scrapped it, but you know maybe they'll, uh, you know when they run out of. Th I thought I thought they put it on a shelf. I didn't think. Yeah, they no, no, no. It totally. But they but they Black Widow. I gotta say all oh, of these are is, wasted. This is an interesting one. All this of is these not are wasted. Very common to see black Widow is not an important character right now. Now there's um, there's gonna be a movie though, right? And do you think? Yes. See, uh, Symbiote Spider Man is is technically a duplicate character, right? This is like the first time, right? Yes. Do you think they're gonna? Yes. I mean, I mean, technically, Symbiote Spider Man when he comes out, that is not that could have been a Spider Man skin, but it's actually a a different character. I mean, what are they gonna start doing? They're gonna have Black Widow unleashed or Black Widow 2021 or something. You know what I mean? Like for every Black Widow Avengers Endgame, you know how they could have like 19 skins, right? We'll see. I'm not. I'm not particularly a fan of all the same characters being released. Like the the main game you play, the Star Wars Galaxy oh, yeah. of Heroes, you could make a full team of Han Solos. Well, 
I know some people like that. Even, I'm not that big of a fan of it. Even Contest so of Champions has going. like so many variations of Iron Man. And then Star Wars uh, Galaxy of Heroes has all these variations of uh, Han Solo. So it's like you can <laughs> run all these Hans and you can have all these uh, uh, Iron Man. Uh, but Black Widow may, you know, they, you know, a lot of people say, why isn't she farmable? The reason why she's not farmable is because there's a movie coming out and they're not going to make her farmable. That's my opinion. I mean, it makes sense, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, they didn't unfarm Black Panther when his movie came out. Yeah, but he. Uh, most people know. have Black, Pan Black Panther for one, you know, for the the raids, right? Which they've pretty much stopped releasing characters in raids overall. So I don't know. I think I think Black Widow is going to be important later. Maybe having these three will be useful, but uh, she is of. Uh, not she just does, doesn't do much anymore. Well, let me just tell you this: the special is not that bad because it does right. clear positive effects. And only at on one Avengers, time, though, this, only on well, Avengers. This, yeah, and it's well, only this, one. This was uh, this did allow uh, the Avengers to count on Brotherhood. So back in the day, this was kind of a good one, but now Brotherhood's not that much of a thing. They get countered by so many other teams that you don't really need Avengers. This countering was the best character so. in the game for a long time. Remember how long yeah. she was like the best character in the game? She was the best, probably until Defenders came out. So yeah. almost a year. Yeah, almost and now year. she's definitely not. E she's probably a B B character at best. I don't even know. Anyways, let's go. Uh, to, let's go down Loki. Um, okay, Loki. so this is a character. Like people ask me, he's like, yeah, right. what T four should I put on his Guardians? I'm like. Well, I don't use them in the arena and I don't use them in U7. You know, until they come out with a single player war, I'm not really going to focus on these ultra efficient uh, T4s. Are there any in here that you've looked at? That's I don't use Loki enough to justify it. Is I don't think that the T4s are bad, but if uh, you know if this was a character used in your arena team, uh, go for it. Or if you just love Asgardians, you know, that's fine too. Minerva, still don't need Nothing. any at all. I agree with that. I totally agree with that. Star Lord, that's Star -Lord. back in the day. I agree with that as well. Yeah, special. The special is pretty good as well. If you're if you're going back to BKT or yeah. have a use for Star Lord, well, I think but I needed this not for using uh, him then to unlock Ultron too. This was like a core team for uh, ult unlocking Ultron. Did I? I used him. Yeah, I used him yeah, for that. So this fed, this was something he I just did. fed all of that energy to Minerva. Oh, by the way, yes. I'm playing on Blue Stack, so there's a link down in the description. Uh, where you can play it's 60 frames per second on your Woo, PC or Mac. So I, nice. I, I, I don't know when I stopped mentioning that, but it's still a thing. People ask me all the time. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm sponsored by Bluestacks. Go check it out. Um, that's a great sponsorship because there's really not much of a downside except when it doesn't work right. But it's no. not. It usually works right. It's working right right now. It's usually so. not on the Bluestacks end. It's usually on the Fox net end because yeah, all I the know, other right? games work correctly. And I still don't have sound right on my correctly. iPhone. So what does that mean? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what are what are they doing? I don't know. But does, if if you're looking to invest in Star Lord, the special is good too. This is a very good passive. Yeah, I mean, I like his passive on Groot. Yeah, these are these are like staple passives. You know, I've, I've got a lot of battle, value ones. out of it. War Machine. Now, I would do this if I needed more out of my power armor, which is the one you did the integrated train targeting, right? Yeah, because when I was using this team that taunt below 50%, I wanted it consistent, you know, so it's always going off right. whenever they drop below that 50%. Yeah, because this uh, this can be problematic, like if you can't get to the, the Minerva or something, right? Yeah, so so having this taunt always apply, I thought, was just made it worth it enough just in Blitz. And then, yeah, you're getting more damage and stuff in War, so that's like an added bonus okay. for me. So. Yeah, Power Armor. I like, I like that Power one. Armor is a, is a luxury if I want to upgrade them. I've basically been upgrading my War Machine or my uh, Falcon over a War Machine at this point. Uh, and then we're getting into some shield assault. Still a lot of use today yeah, with Yeah, one, one of the first ones you do back when shield was a Yeah, team, you have so, to yeah. to get that uh, crit. Uh, crit yeah. chance because that's what knocks down turn, turn beater rewind. and all kinds of fun things happen on when you you boost up the crit chance so it's kind of an important one i like it that's good back in the agent colson now solid. i did two of these the and i may have been a little bit uh adventurous on these two right here those are awesome if you're really looking to build up your uh colson war defense i think everybody knows how to beat colson now though scarier i think colson yeah, is well i think it I, I think they're two different teams. I think there's a Colson shield with these T4s and the Colson shield without these T4s. And it's easy, e easier to beat the ones without the T4s. But even some of the normal counters, you've got these two T4s and it makes that shield team harder. But if, but if you're if you're trying to build a super annoying uh, shield defensive team, you know, if you have a high red star medic, 
ouch. Those are the only yeah. ones that I'm worried about is anything that has like a high red star medic or if the medic is just, you know, tier 14 out of her mind. Uh, that's the team that's troublesome. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? Where the medic is yeah. like 80,000, 90,000, 100,000 powers. Those are the ones where I was like, I don't think I could win this one. Like it, yeah, you got to take her out. First. You got to take out medic first. But uh, I don't know if I would have done these. Uh, now that we kind of know how to counter Coulson, it's just kind of like uh, run X Men, kill the shield medic, and then the team just kind of falls apart after that. Um, but it's I, I never ended up doing them, but I do know the difference when I compete against this Coulson shield team. When it's like, oh, we're getting double attack. They, this person put C4s into them, and oh, this only one attack. Yeah, oh, and you're going to it blind, too. It's when so you go into different. the match, you don't know if they had it or not. Yeah, you can't tell. There's no way to see if they had the T4s on these abilities There's or no not. way of knowing, kind of like, at least oh, that I know yeah. of. So it's kind of like everybody has to play around it, and even the people that didn't put the T4s on these are getting the benefit because you almost have to assume they did, right? Yeah. You have to assume they yeah. did, and then you just... Uh, it really comes down to the medic at that point. All right, Hulk. Did, I didn't do any on the Hulk. Did you do any on the Hulk? Unfortunately, no. Okay. <laughs> Thor. I apologize, guys. Uh, I, we're going to skip down to some key characters because I didn't really do many after that. Let's talk about two different subsets just briefly. We're going to talk about Supernatural, and then we're going to talk about Asgardians. And I have not put any of them on these two particular teams, but a lot of people are pretty hyped about it. Let's talk about Asgardians first. Uh, we already talked about Hela and Loki. Let's talk about Thor, Sif, and Humdale. All right, so Thor, I think the only two that's worth doing a Lightning Storm and to a lesser extent, God of Thunder. Mm -hmm. So Lightning Storm, he's got that damage, a higher percentage to stun. So I think that's good. Mm. God of Thunder, this helps This helps his retaliatory AoE that he does. Gives him a little extra damage with that. Uh, and I like it. I like Thor. I like so Thor. I think this... This is not a this is not a hugely important one, but I'm a fan of the character, so probably is something I'm going to do down the road. I think this is a little more important though that AOE. Okay. That, uh, Any that there. you would look at it, Sif. Uh, Sif, there are, there are some good ones, but not huge priorities. Yeah, I me. just I, she's just not a priority to me. Um, I think the team is good. Uh, without going crazy, you know what I mean? It's like I'm getting Heimdall's a lot of value passive, out of it. I did I did Heimdall's passive the all Okay. All right, so that is focus itself on war defense and spider defense to all allies for two turns. That's amazing. Two turns, two turns defense up. Yes, and not uh, it's all allies. So yeah, yeah all the, allies. The focus so, is okay, but uh, this is this is more of a war D kind of uh, yeah 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 move there. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Uh, I bet you get defensive wins on that because uh, again, you don't know uh, going into a battle whether they have this or not. And it definitely changes things. So I, yeah, I hope they go change into the that. battle, use the energy, use an attack to see what the heck's going on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, and then the Loki ones we talked about earlier, those, the, the special and the ultimate see, very good. See, I feel that, that if we ever go into a single player, uh, this is where these type of things would become more important to me. But because right now it's, it's kind of, I don't know, like when you're playing with your Alliance, it's, it's, it's all of us, right? Where, yeah. like, we have, when it's one versus one, it's just different. It's like, wow, then that's, then those type of T4s, like on Humdale, become very important. Very important, right? Where it could that's, be the whole yeah, match. True, so, true. Uh, what about a Supernatural? Right. Do you do any of these? Scarlet Witch. Not, not, not huge, huge, not one of your first priorities, but if you're really investing in this team, this is one you eventually should do that Chaos Wave. Okay. So Strange, his passive and his ultimate are two of the more important ones. His passive, because it keeps him alive longer with his deflects and his ultimate, he's going to bring two uh, supernatural characters back to life. So that, that helps a lot in battles. So Okay. So I think those are, those are important for that supernatural team as well. Mordo has some good ones. Yes. So Ghost Rider's passive is nice as well. So yeah. Bunch of bunch of different things. Yeah. Ghost Riders passive, I think. Is the yes, I one. think a lot of these were going to become more important if we go to a one versus one, then where you can throw one or two or maybe three uh, T fours on an entire team and just like double their efficiency by applying two or three uh, T fours. Right now, I don't use them that often. Just, just I mean, they're going to win yeah. in blitz anyways, and then a war. Uh, they do it. I, I kind of work around them. I don't punch up as high. I use them on offense. And I, I have good results as long as they don't kill my uh, uh, Doctor Strange. As long as they don't kill my Doctor yeah, Strange. That's, that's the whole team. That's the whole yeah, team, you, right? it's, it's like I can power through anything as long as they don't kill my Doctor Strange. And it's just like, and it, then it's RNG. And it's like, well, I can, and sometimes I can punch up huge as long as they don't kill my Doctor Strange. So 
Uh, I kind of roll the dice with that team sometimes, but I can usually yeah. punch up 30, 40 K, not even worry about it. Uh, not a problem. Okay. So All right. uh, to wrap up the video, uh, I'm going to be looking at Shuri's special and Hella's uh, passive. And that's about it for right now. Maybe Black Bolt's basic, but uh, I think that's what I'm going to do for now. So guess what time it is? It is time for a giveaway. All right. I really hope you like this video today because you get your choice of what character. This is a two for oh, one. I really hope you like this video sweet. today because if you did, you are in luck. For every single person likes this video, you will be getting for free in your account an eight red star Baby Groot versus Baby Ooh. Yoda. You got to watch this video oh, right man. here. What about? I, I mean, what I'm just going to play a little bit of our Baby Yoda beats Baby Groot and they do like a, a whole thing. Although it's, <laughs> I don't know, it's funny. <laughs> they think they do a dance off. Uh, who, who, which category are you in? You a baby Groot or baby Yoda? I gotta stick true to the Marvel universe and go with Groot because I, I primarily cover Marvel games. So. I'm just gonna tell you this, you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm, gonna, guys. I'm just gonna wail harder then. Yeah, Maybe right. I'll be right next time. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Keep on gaming.